Welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be making some sharks. I had no idea what I was going to make this morning and then Nick suggested that I make a shark magnet. He loves sharks. This was his dad's shark book from when he was a kid. So I'm going to flip through it and find some things. Nick said that he likes hammerheads, great whites, whites and um, thrashers. And I think the tail of the thrasher would be a bit flimsy if I did that. So I went with the hammerhead first and then I did a like a front view of a great white. I keep saying that great white. So I did intend on making this um, hammerhead a little bit bigger than I ended up making it, but it still turned out pretty cool. Um, the only problem that I had with it was when I was painting, the the clay was uneven and so there were a couple parts where I just kind of kept like accidentally scraping the paint away and so it would be a little bit wider than I would like. And uh, cutting this out initially I just did a quick little like very very light line work of it and then I went back over and actually cut through the clay adding the little details and stuff and then I uh, very 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 lightly went back over it with the roller just to uh, smooth out the edges a little bit more and then refine the bits and I noticed that I made the shark a little bit uh, shorter than it should have been so I separated that part right there and I added a little bit more clay and then blended that out and these edges are still uh, kind of rough but after I baked it I went ahead and um, scraped it a bit more with the exacto knife so that it was a lot smoother. So moving on to the great white, I found this awesome photo. Well, it's kind of not awesome because I like sharks too and like obviously this shark probably died, which sucks, but um, it was still a pretty cool photo of him. So I wanted to do something like that with this big old mouth open and I ended up not making the mouth as big as I wanted it to be. That was just an accident because I didn't sketch anything out uh, beforehand, but it still ended up looking pretty cool. Honestly, the mouth was probably the hardest part because it was so detailed and so small. Um, I made the, the general shape of the mouth, that way it looked like it was protruding out a little bit. And then I added a bunch of little itty bitty teeth, which <laughs> that was time consuming but it looks so cool. And then I um, smoothed out the edges so that it blended in with the rest of the shark. Words got hard there for a second. <laughs> also, this part's gonna, gonna take a second. Uh, in the video, I literally sped up almost every single clip as fast as I possibly could uh, using the software that I'm using. You can speed things up times eight. And I did that for every one of these. <laughs> The, the freaking video is still like eight minutes long. Uh, that happened yesterday too. I sped up every part, almost every part, as fast as I possibly could so that I could fit like the whole process in because there was so much and the video still ended up being so long. It's crazy. And I even did stuff like, because I didn't want to run out of space, I even did stuff like more of the blending out of the mouth uh, while the camera was off. And uh, this is just me shaving the uh, cooked pieces. They, <laughs> my head's getting in the way. They were uh, baked for 15 minutes because they're pretty thin. And these ended up being a lot harder than my, uh, was it the skull that I did yesterday? Um, so carving these was a lot harder, but they still felt very flimsy because of how thin they were. So trying to bevel the edges a little bit, um, I was so scared that I was going to break one of these. It was so scary, but I wanted it to look good. I didn't want like the the the, the edges like protruding out like visible from, you know, a frontal view. I don't know if that made sense, but it was necessary, okay? So, um this blue was a lot thinner than I thought it would be. So that I used that to my advantage and I just did a thin coat of blue. And then I started adding it just so they matched a little bit and looked like they were underwater. And then I started adding in the uh, shading and the colors that were uh, more specific to each of these sharks. Obviously it's a set, so I did want them to match more 
so that's also why I used the same colors, but the shark, the great white shark, sorry, also has, you know, its gums and the, the inside of its mouth visible, so I had to add a little bit of some, some pink and red. Also, that red is nasty. It is so dry and it was so hard to work with. There's just a little bit of liquid at the bottom that I could use. But it added just enough darkness, well, almost enough darkness. I did end up going back in there and adding a little bit of black and blending it with the liquidy white, or er, uh, liquidy red. That way it could get even darker to add some depth, make it look like it's got a big old belly inside him. Did you notice that I accidentally smudged the pink up on the nose? That sucked. <laughs> I accidentally smudged some more on it after the entire thing was done because there was still a little bit of um, the red on my hands from touching the mouth up at the very end with the black. <laughs> and that was annoying to try to cover up because it was on the top layer and I didn't want to mess up the colors or anything. Ay, it, was, it, was, it was hectic. But I'm just... Um, adding some shadow in, some shading, to, to the darker parts because I didn't have a dark blue that I wanted to use, wanted to use. It is so hard for me to talk today for some reason, but uh, this is looking pretty cool. I, I did not plan on making these look realistic whatsoever, but this uh, great white actually ended up looking pretty awesome. I was a little bit nervous painting these with my uh, limited colors and not even just like my limited colors with paint, but like it's a shark. It's they're very not really colored, you know, not like a the flower or or a cat. It, they've got like a very subtle gradient to them, which is absolutely beautiful if you see them. I love fish so much. They're so pretty. Sharks are just the best. Uh, but they were really hard to paint to look good, especially this uh, this hammerhead. I don't know why I was struggling with it so much. It was ridiculous. I just had to keep going back in with with the the shadows and the highlights and the low lights and then more shadows and highlights and it was it was crazy. It was very crazy. It was fun though. <laughs> Nick said that uh, I made it look fun. I was like, you want to make some? He's like, no. I said, you make it look fun. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm like, what? Come on. It's easy. It's not that hard. I mean, I'm... There are certain things that I struggle with, but that's just me personally. Everybody's going to experience something different. And I highly recommend doing this. It is so fun. I love painting and I love... I've always wanted to make magnets. So that's why I had a whole strip of magnet in my art supplies and I've just never used it. But I'm finally doing it, and I absolutely love it, and I just want to keep doing it. Tomorrow, I'm not going to make a small little magnet, though. I'm going to make a big, like, layered illustration thing. Kind of how I did the mouth on top of the shark. I'm going to do something... I'm going to attempt to do something big and majestic tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure what I'll be making, so uh, wish me luck. Here's how they look on the fridge. And I haven't sprayed them with... Uh, clear coat yet but I will that way if they do fall even if they break the paint will not chip and so I can just easily just super glue it back together it happened to my flower already <laughs> if you make something like this tag Samless Creations so I can see it I hope you have a wonderful day and happy crafting <laughs>